Hi, this is the second part of the animator, the system where we are going to handle the transition between two animations. So now we need to just modify, add some few lines to this class. We are going to add to the action method the time scale, time scale and the cycle flag so the first things we are going to check if if the last clip this last clip is equal exactly equal to null so we are going to set this up so in this case we need to yeah just run this clip and set the last clip as the animation ID and return in order to avoid the following codes in order to avoid the execution of the following codes after that we need to check if the last clip this last clip is equal to the animation ID so in that case we are going to avoid the repetition of the animation uh, third step is something similar to this one we are going to first reset because it's not the first time we are triggering this animation so then we are going to play it and then we are going to set the last this last clip we are going to call the method cross fade to which is the place where the magic happened transitioning from the previous uh, animation to the new one this clips animation id in a interpolation time interpolation time that is approximately 0 0.2 0 0.2 and then we need to add true as a third parameter which is the wrap but I don't know what that means at the moment and after that we need to work with the time scale which is a parameter that the mixer has and we can set it here and finally we need to handle the cycle flag so in order to handle the cycle flag we need to copy create and um, a property name in progress so if in progress is true we need to avoid the re-execution of the, the execution of the following code if this is in progress is false we need to check if the cycle flag is true in that case we are going to listen in the mixer an event name it loop Uh, and we are going to set as event handler a uh, um, callback name it on cycle finish finished and we are going to set the context and now we need to create this method where we are going to set 
the impress impress as false because here after this line we are going to set it in true so when the cycle flag is true we are going to set in progress as true so we are going to avoid the execution of the following code until this event happen when we are going to call this callback this event handler that is going to reset back this progress this in progress property as false so in that case we are going to continue executing the following code um, so that's all by now hopefully you enjoy it and we need to check this out but in order to do it we need at least two animation that is something that we doesn't we don't have ready so we are going to see it on the next lesson so stay around and see you there